the lifestyle of a UK podiatrist like? Is it private practice, hospital based, mixed? Mostly hospital based because a lot of people come in looking for stable care. And what's interesting is like a lot of nurses have actually gone to study podiatry because they've it's easier for them. They want a nine to five kind of like career and podiatry kind of ticks that box because nursing is quite demanding. Sometimes they're doing night shifts and mm -hmm. um, they can't do it anymore. So I've, that was quite, because when I was studying with a lot of nurses in my course and it was a course full of more mature students. So that was one of the main things, stability. And then there are other people who actually want to go into private practice. I had a colleague who I graduated with and she was um, married so her husband actually bought a practice which already had everything in there so they had some other I think a, a, a physical therapist already so she just came after graduating started she took over that and it was just easy to do because I already had the list of patients yeah I think I some of these private practices earn a lot of money actually you know I worked yeah in one another story for another day but it was just covering for a short period of time. So I could see how much he was making. Obviously, I, I, he wasn't paying me that much, <laughs> but in a day, you could rake in probably about $1,000 yeah, at times. Just I, I think private practice right in here. the United States is, is still probably more financially beneficial than uh, being employed by a hospital system. But it's becoming more rare because places like California, Oregon, um, Nevada, Arizona, Florida, most all along the East Coast. Yeah. You know, very, you're seeing fewer and fewer private practice physicians. Um, They're getting it's really out. hard to keep up with the overhead. Yeah. But in Texas, we, we like to still be on our own as much as we can. Uh, I, you know, I've had 23 years of not having a boss, and I kind of like it that way. So I'm trying to stick with this for as long as I possibly can. No, I feel that. And I also thought about that too, because I was thinking, okay, you, you don't have a boss, but then you've got to come in in the days that your patients are available. And most of the times, a lot of patients, clientele, would like to come on the weekend. And I was yeah. thinking, you know, weekends I would like to be off. So that's like, that was one of the main well, issues. Well, we're issues, off but... on weekends for the most part. And patients find a way to get in to see us from 8.30 to 5, Monday through Friday, so. Uh, but then if you're in an area which doesn't have many podiatrists, mm -hmm. so they've got no choice but to come on week, weekdays. I suppose if you're in somewhere like California, people want to be seen in the evenings after work, or perhaps a weekend, so you've got to kind of adjust for that. that that's true. Yeah. I think living in California is a lifestyle choice. It's going to be a little tougher, for sure. Yeah, but I and there are a lot of podiatrists around. Yeah, so because you got you got the schools there. Yeah, two schools there, yeah. and a lot of people have already established practices here mm. or have the reputation established already. So it's more difficult. I've seen that pattern where people who graduate, even in dental school, they will go off to another state, which is completely different from the state they originally studied from. Obviously, if they're, if they're in New York, California they go off to an, an, an opportunity would emerge where they could start a private practice or become associate. Mm -hmm. Obviously, living costs are much lower, so obviously you, the profit margins are, opportunities are much higher because you're living on, on a small amount. Mm -hmm.